Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. I'm white this time. And um, we've got King's Gambit. Let's see that. Will he accept? Does he accept? Yes, he does. Chatel. Chatel accepts. So you go for the queen check line. No, he goes for this line. Attacking the pawn. So you defend it. Um, yeah, I, I think I mentioned this in the in a recent um, King's Gambit game. But in the Bishop's Gambit, you wait to play Knight F3. Um, just because everyone knows the lines against uh, uh, Knight F3, like Knight F3 variations. And so you don't want to transpose too quickly. Um, and one of the main lines is uh, against Knight F3 is g5 and it just doesn't work against uh bishop c4 mainly because um when you play h4 and uh normally in knight f3 variations they can play uh g4 and get a tempo on the knight whereas here that won't work because uh well yeah it just, it just won't so now you know um i think d4 e4 could work Actually, wait, hang on. Take, take. E4. Where does knight go? But even now, where does his knight go? Well, I think it's best to... Take, take, push, knight back, queen here, attack here, and then queen here or here, attacking the pawn, knight here attacking the bishop, protect the pawn. Oh yeah, queen has to go here because the pawn, yeah. Um... But then also queen here blocks the knight again. Yeah. So maybe then he has to play rook g8 to protect the bishop. But then I... Oh, no, no, because the knight's there. Yeah, I, I think I can just take here and this is fine. Take here and then push here. Okay. Um, this is definitely interesting. Can I not? Can I take on Poisson here? On Poisson, Queen takes. And probably d4. Maybe it wasn't great allowing him to play d4, uh, d5. Actually, his bishop's very weak there. I just realised. If I drop back, <coughs> maybe he pushes. I could even come here. And if take, take, I'm attacking here. I'm still attacking his knight. <coughs> I quite like this now. Now he's got to. He's probably got to move the knight, uh, and I just take the take the pawn, right?
And yeah, if he, I think the critical line's probably D4. Um, in which case, I, I feel like knight here is a good move. Okay. I feel like D, it's got to be D4 now. Mm, actually, no, because then he can play C6. Maybe Queen... Yeah, <clears throat> I like Queen here more um, because <clears throat> I've still got a double threat and I don't think he can defend both. Can I just take the knight here? <clears throat> Hang on. Knight take... No, take knight. Uh, then queen take... Take, take... Well, he doesn't have to take here. But I think this is fine. Let's take the knight. I'm oh, I'm still threatening uh, knight here, which comes with a threat if he moves the queen. In fact, even if he doesn't move the queen, it's pinned. Um, comes a threat forking the the king and rook. I'm down on time, but I, I feel like using using a bit of time is worth it there. I've got the lead now, I'm pretty sure. That's why I love the King's Gambit. Yeah, Black Resigns. Nice. Let's have a quick look at that. The ten move game, wow. That's exactly why we play the King's Gambit. Yeah, it's already giving um plus not point eight here. Yeah, and the moment they play this, the moment they play uh G five, you play H four. And yeah, I think Okay. So it's giving uh after push, it's giving plus not point five. I think it just likes here. Hang on. Um, oh, and then here, then then push. Oh, still not. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. The, the reason you don't push is because of d five. You found probably could have worked that one out. Um, but here. Queen here, that's a strange one. I'd have probably just played, yeah. I mean, it's just another thing to consider. I, I, I think just not allowing uh, d5 is, is the main idea here. Um, oh, it, it gives it as uh, minus one now. But after this, it's plus three. And yeah, plus six immediately. Yeah. Nice. Um, I think just spotting that and uh in in the future not letting not letting D five uh be played is a very key move. Cause it, it lets this bishop out 
and also um, blocks off my bishop and obviously controls the central squares. But um, yeah, a nice quick win today. So uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching and goodbye. See you in the next one.